So now things are advancing actually pretty fast and we're going to start the zeroth law of thermodynamics. We're going to start building on thermodynamics and the first thing we're going to need to know is the first or I mean the zeroth law of thermodynamics is the most important law, one of the most important laws in thermodynamics. It really helps you build on but it's a very simple law and most people don't have a trouble um, you know grasping this law. Before I describe this law, I really just want to take time to describe one term, and that's adiabatic. Um, why I want to describe this term is because you will see it a lot of times in thermodynamics, and so it's good that you get an idea of what it is for now. Adiabatic means no heat transfer. That's all it means. Heat is not transferred between the system and the surroundings. That's it. You know, it doesn't give a statement about any other quantity. The word adiabatic just means no heat transfer. Okay, so now let's jump into our zeroth law. The zeroth law of thermodynamics describes something called temperature. And essentially heat. Okay, so Let's say we have a block A and let's say we have a block B and you know they're separated in space by some distance D and let's say A is hot B is cold and let's say we join the system or these two A and B so if this occurs how is heat gonna travel well, the heat will go from the hot system to the cold system, okay, until an equilibrium value is attained, until some value that's between hot and cold, right, warm, lukewarm, anything, that's, um, it's a value that's going to be in between hot and cold, um, and this is essentially what temperature tells us. It's going to be measuring what this is, you know, you can measure, you can measure the temperature here, you can measure the temperature here, and then you can measure the last state temperature, and you'll get an idea of where heat has moved from where to where. So, in the zeroth law of thermodynamics, things, so heat moves from, okay, let's put this very informally, from a region of high concentration, and, um, you know, in, in your head, imagine me putting quotation marks, um, in that sign. So heat travels from high concentration, you know, heat, hot, um, to low concentration, which is cold. You know, nothing to do with concentrations. I'm just giving an example to maybe help you visualize it. Um, so heat always travels from region of, so there's a gradient, right? It travels from a region where there's a lot of heat, a lot of it, to a region of cold. Um, so in thermodynamics also note that we will only be talking about heat transfer cold doesn't really travel okay it'd be wrong to say that the system you know some of the cold went into the system b uh, you know from b to a the, some cold traveled that doesn't make sense cold doesn't travel we'll see why um later on in the videos just heat is traveling okay cold is just a consequence of heat traveling so this is the zeroth law. Let's do a little example, another example. Let's say we have um, A, B, and C. Okay. Um, A is very hot. B is moderate in temperature. And C is very, very cold, let's say. So we know that heat is going to travel from A to B, hot to cold. We also know that heat is going to travel from, oh sorry, A to C, and then we also know heat is going to travel from A to B because still B is at a lower temperature than A, so heat is going to go there. Um, and from B, heat is going to come to C, right, because it's still higher in temperature than C. But from C, heat is never going to go to A or B or even the coolness because C is at this cold temperature, so cold doesn't travel only as we can see heat travels, okay? So this is the idea of temperature and heat. Heat is traveling and you can measure heat with temperature with a thermometer. So now it begs the question of 
developing a th thermometer. Um, the ideas behind creating a thermometer, we'll start discussing those and it'll lead us into the discussion of ideal gases and from there we'll continue on our discussion of thermodynamics.